Hi, Yarnabees! Guess what? I have a crap load of yarn fairy mail. <laughs> uh, my FedEx lady just showed up and she brought me a box from Premier, which is um, some of my mystery boxes from Premier. I believe I ordered five of them. I don't know if this is all of them. Uh, maybe not. But um, yeah. Yay! And then I also have a little bit of a yarn haul from Michael's, maybe, possibly. I know. <sighs> you know, I just, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just can't stop. I can't stop. I don't need all that yarn, really. Um, but, yeah. it's it. They had a 30% off. Like, all the yarn. And why am I making excuses for myself? Darn it, I deserve it. And <coughs> Bailey's going to bark now. Hold that thought. <coughs> okay. So, Bailey was barking for a reason. I just had another package arrive. <laughs> this is going to be a busy week for me, I think. But this one I was expecting, and it's from uh, Billy, the Crafty Floridian, or something I bought from her that I'm really excited about. I bought it for my daughter. So I'll show that in a minute. Okay. Are we all ready? Okay, what should we show first? I'm going to leave the mystery boxes for a little later. <laughs> okay, Bailey, you need to get out of the way, sweetheart. Thank you. All right. So I keep looking at, <clears throat> excuse me, I keep looking at these and I kept pa passing them by and passing them by and I just kept thinking, oh, I don't know about these. But I decided they were 30% off. What the heck? Try them out see what you think right and it is everybody's seen them before but it's new to me the roll with it tweed look at that <laughs> okay <coughs> excuse me coughing on my choking. coughing on my coffee yeah okay Co coughing on my choking yeah choking on my coffee <coughs> gosh Oh, I haven't had near enough of it. Look at this. Look at these wings. Oh, my goodness. I'm just a mess today. <sighs> okay. Where were we? We need to put my glasses on, which are here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, that's better. All right. So, this is a medium four. It's 100% acrylic. There's 296 yards, uh, 271 meters, 150 grams. Uh, you can wash and dry. I believe that's what that means. <clears throat> and I think that's all the specs that you need. Oh, you need the color. That might help. This is violet, <laughs> and I got three of them. So there's that. And then I got, I've had this before, but I haven't had this color. Um, and I think I grabbed the last of them. Oops, that was a different one. That's a different one. Yeah, there was only two left. It's the Heartland. And this is a medium four. There's 251 yards, 230 meters, 142 grams, 100% acrylic. And the colorway is 180 Kings Canyon. Isn't that gorgeous? It's actually... Yeah, it's pretty close to the right color. It's a little bit darker. Isn't that pretty? 
and it's marled. Oh, I just love it. It's, or heathered or whatever you want to call it. So I got two of those. I would have gotten more if they had them. And then I got a Heartland again. And this color is Black Canyon. And I got two of those. And the funny thing is, this one looks darker than the other. That's weird. This one actually looks lighter than the other one. A little bit. I guess the dye lots are different. It says it's from the same dye lot. Hmm. Maybe it's just the way the, the light hits it. But uh, so pretty. And then... Oh, okay, now everybody's going to jump on me, I'm sure. They say that everybody says this is hell spun. <clears throat> but you know what? If you use a big enough hook, this stuff is beautiful worked up. And I don't mind it at all. I really don't. And this color just blew my mind. Uh, there's, I, oh, I guess I'll show it to you. <laughs> Look at this color. No, Laura, you can't have it. <laughs> it's actually looking really light on the camera. It's a dark, like almost like a burnt orange. Like, yeah, you can't really tell. Okay, so this is 185 yards, 169 meters, 170 grams. It's a bulky five. And the colorway is wildfire. And I just absolutely love this. I really wish they had more of this. Um, I'm hoping maybe they'll get some more in because it's just, I mean, if you look at it closely, look at all the different color variations in that. It's so pretty. Can't wait to use it. And then I got this to... Um, to work with it and weird enough they have two different uh tags on them i don't know if lion brand is i guess lion brand has um changed their labels so to see they're two different labels <laughs> but this color is pearls and it is very pearly like you see that shine on there Oh, I just love it. Love it. So I got those. Uh, and then I got some, some other stuff that's not yarn related, really. Stuff to put in giveaways and all that kind of stuff, so I can't show you. Okay, I'm going to put this away, and then I'll get on to the other stuff. All right. Okay, so... Like I said, I think I, I bought five mystery bags and I don't think they're all going to fit in here. They might. Oh, they might. They just might. Hmm. Okay. So this is Festival Mixed Fiber. I've been seeing all these mystery boxes. I've been watching all the mystery bags um, and doings. And Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches opened this up. And apparently this says one thing, but she believes it's another. Um... Where is it here? I think it said that it was a polyester acrylic. And she thinks that there's wool in here. So I'm not entirely sure if I should open it or not. Like, I don't know. But it's my color. <laughs> but it's got... Well, I guess the only way to know is if... I start having a reaction then I'll know right so okay well let's try because there are some yarns that you think oh that's definitely wool and it's not I don't know it doesn't feel wooly to me I guess we'll find out <laughs> okay so, it's a 50 gram ball, and 
it doesn't have a color or anything so but anyways it's red and but it's got like flecks of stuff in it and this reminds me a lot of the tweeds that I use the um, what is it premier um, for that uh, premium tweeds um, so that reminds me a lot of this so I'm hoping I can use this I really am I just don't think wool I'll be fine okay uh, and then we got oh this is called premier fable Oh, hold on. This is a very fine yarn by the looks of it. Twenty percent anti-pilling acrylic and eighty percent polyester. And it's called Fable. Oops, can you, oh, it's very shiny. Can you see that? It is a light three, uh, 229 meters, 250 yards. And this color is Hansel and Gretel. Oh, I get it. Fairy tales. Ah, fables. Ah, that's cute. Isn't that a pretty color? Oh, love that. But I don't use a three weight yarn, but... Oh, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six in a bag. And there's two, four, six, eight, ten of these ones in the bag. Okay. Now these ones I know. Is it? Oh, maybe this is the cotton. Oh, it is cotton. Cotton linen blend. Okay, good. <laughs> Ooh, they taped this up really good. All right. So this is called um, Good Earth. It's a cotton linen blend. And they don't have, it's just color number 105. But it's like a very pale pink. Very pretty. You can sure feel the linen in it. Yeah. Hmm. So there's one, two, three, four, five in a bag. Whew, we're getting a pile here. Okay. Bamboo Bloom. Woo! Oh, this. Oh, I think Jennifer showed this one. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so there is wool in this and I can't touch it. But it's 48% rayon from bamboo, 44% wool, and 8% acrylic. Um, that's pretty much all it says. Oh, unless it's like... The stats are way down below. Oh, there's a uh, hundred grams, hundred and fifty four yards, hundred and forty meters in it, and it's classified as a bulky. I hope you guys can see this through the bag, but it is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I wish I could use it. It's the type of yarn that goes thin and thick and thin and thick. So. Yeah, oh, it's such beautiful colors. 
Oh, just gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> Makes me sad. Okay, and here's another bag of Festival Mixed Fiber. Oh, Bailey. What's the matter with you? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I got all, all five mystery ba bags in one little box. So, that's cool. Oh, and the, there's... One, two, three, four, five of these in a bag. Okay. This is the same as the other one. Uh, poly, polyester and acrylic 50 gram ball. Doesn't have a colorway. That's different, isn't it? So there you go. That is the mystery bags. So stay tuned on my channel. If you're new, make sure you've subscribed. You hit the uh, the bell notification so you get all of my um, my new videos because I'm always having giveaways. There was a reason why I bought these. Just saying. Just saying. Not saying anymore. What's <laughs> old? Okay. Um, now the box from Billy, our wonderful Billy. Oh, it's gonna take me a minute to open this. I think she packed this up pretty good. Okay, I finally got the uh, box open. She's got blue tissue paper. She's wrapped it all up real good. Ooh. Oh, Billy, this looks even better in person. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's so, oh, you know what? I should have told you that it was for Tia and not me because she put an S on here. Isn't that the coolest? Oh, it, oh man, you can't, it, the camera doesn't pick it up, but it's really shiny. Yeah, it doesn't show it up, but it's really, really, just trust me, it's shiny. <laughs> And then she has a little tag that says made with love. Come on, focus. And, uh, and then she put an S on it, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, it's so nice. She's got, uh, oh, <laughs> she even put a penny in it. They say that you're never supposed to give a purse or a wallet or anything like that without having something like that in there. This was made very, very well, Billy. Wow. Like, how in the heck did you get that sewn on? That must have hurt your hands something fierce. Wow. This is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Love it. And my daughter's going to love it too. I'm sure. Thank you so much. Oh, I just, I can't, I can't even like it. It's, it just doesn't show it justice on, on the camera. You need to go and purchase one of these from Billy. They're not expensive. Um, and they are just so well made, so well made. And she put so much love into these purses and she has so many different kinds and she makes these other little purses. They're like clutch purses. They're so adorable, so adorable. And, um, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? I just thought of something, Billy. This S is going to work out fine because her last name is St. Pierre. 
Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Thank you so much, Billy. I, I appreciate this more than you know. Um, anything that comes from you is just a wonderful, wonderful gift. Um, I mean, although I paid for this, but it's still like the, 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 what am I trying to say? Words. <laughs> um, the craftsmanship that you put into your, your projects is second to none. They really are. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave the link for Billy's, uh, channel down below. And you can contact her via her email, which is in her description box, and ask her about purchasing. Okay? So thanks again, Billy. Um, I can't wait to give it to my daughter. I, she's probably going to watch this video, I'm sure. Yeah. Speaking of my daughter, last night, uh, I know this is a yarn fairy video, but I just have to say this. My daughter took my uh, grand puppy out for a walk yesterday and they went to a place where there was this lake and Diesel went into the lake and when he came out a couple hours later, he was covered in hives. Um, she came home last night and he was suffering so much. He was scratching and whining and just oh the saddest dog you've ever seen and he was literally from head to to tail covered in bumps and hives and uh at 12 o'clock last night she had to drive um way out to langley to get him to a vet And they found out it was an allergic reaction to something. We don't know. Uh, but there was something in the water that he did, reacted to, I guess. And uh, so they shot him up with, you know, stuff that's going to take down the swelling, like a Benadryl kind of thing, and something to help him relax. And apparently he's a lot better this morning. So that's good. I was a little concerned. Right. So because at first she thought it was all like big mosquito bites. I thought there's hundreds of bumps on him. There's no way there was that many mosquitoes. So I knew right away it had to be hives um, because if it was that many mosquito bites, there's a chance of heartworm. Right. So I said, no, get him in. Right. So but they took care of him and he's all better now. So that's good. OK, enough blabbering. You're probably going to have a couple of um, videos from me over the next few days. So I will leave it at this. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, like I said to the new subscribers, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the bell. Uh, and um, you never know what's going to be coming around the corner. <laughs> okay, guys. I love you all. And I will talk to you. Oh, by the way, my back is a lot better. Okay. <laughs> so thanks. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. Bye.